In this video, we are going to evaluate the square root of 52 plus 6 times root 43 all cubed minus the square root of 52 minus 6 square root 43 all cubed. This is a problem from AIME 1990. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. The quickest way to evaluate this expression would be to rewrite the expression underlined in red to be 43 plus 9 plus 6 times square root of 43. Now if I rearrange that, it will become 43 added by 2 times 3 times root 43 plus 3 squared. And of course, 43 can be written as root 43 all squared. Now this is actually 3 plus root 43 all squared. And similarly, I can do that on the second part, and this will become 43 minus 6 root 43 and by 9. And using a similar argument, I can say it is square root of 43 minus 3 whole squared. Or you may say that as 3 minus root 43, but because we have to take square root at the end, so I'd rather have the, the number inside under the squared to be a positive number. Now moving on, we can actually compute the final answer. It's actually equal to square root of 3 plus square root of 43 all squared and then all cubed minus root 43 minus 3 all squared and then all cubed. Now, this square and the square root, they will cancel out. And so what remains is simply 3 plus root 43 all cubed minus root 43 minus 3 all cubed. Now we can recall the identity of the difference of cubes and say that it is the difference of the bases and then we follow the identity sum of squares and adding the product And so for the first part of the product is 6 multiplied by 9 plus 43 plus 6 root 43 and the second term is similar but we are subtracting 9 and 43 by 6 root 43 and at the end we add 43 minus 9 because it's a difference of two squares. And so all together, because these two numbers cancel out, and if I add up the rest, it would be 138. So our final answer is 828. Please continue watching if you're interested in how do we simplify these kind of certs, but of different numbers. For the general strategy to simplify certs of this form, Let's take a look at this example to simplify the square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 6. So the way to do this is that I'm going to let this to be square root of a added by square root of b. Now if I square both sides, I'm going to get 5 plus 2 times square root of 6 is equal to a plus b plus 2 times square root of AB. Now this is actually the reason that I choose to let this square root to be of the form root A plus root B because when I square it then first I'm going to get A plus B where A and B should be some sort of integers. Of course positive because it's under the radical sign.
So A plus B is positive, while at the same time it's added by 2 times square root of AB. And this 2 matches with this 2, and the square root signs match as well. So all we have to do now is to find some positive integers a and b such that the sum is 5 and the product is 6. Now we know that it can easily be solved because we can qu quickly see that a is 2 while b is 3. So therefore we know that the square root of 2 added by square root of 3 all squared is equal to square root of 5 plus 2 root 6. We don't simply observe it, we kind of solve for it. So therefore, our original expression is equal to square root of 2 added by square root of 3. Now let me use our original problem as another example. To simplify 52 minus 6 times root 43. So again, I'm going to let this to be square root of a. This time, I subtract it by square root of b. Notice that the reason I do this is that because if I square both sides, I get again a plus b, the sum of the two squares. This time, it's minus 2 root a b not plus. So from this, we can see that the minus signs match as well. Of course, we want a and b to be positive integers. So I expect a plus b to be the sum to be 52. Now, However, the numbers do not match exactly. We have 2 root AB and 6 root 43 on both sides. So what I'm going to do for the next step is that I'm going to rewrite the left hand side as 52 minus 2 times. Now I'm going to move the factor 3 inside the radical sign. So it's 43 times 9. So it becomes 2 times square root of 387. Now I can compare like terms. So consider two numbers with sum 52 and the product to be 387. Now if I solve this, I can get a to be 43. Of course we want a to be the larger one because this has to be positive. And also b equals to 9. So therefore, the square root of 52 minus 6 root 43 will then be equal to square root of 43 minus square root of 9. And that means it's equal to root 43 minus 3. So I hope these two examples will help you understand how do we simplify these kind of sets.